it's time for another super after video in the form of my surprisingly popular semen super yes lots of lovely comments from the before video and it's finally done isn't it phoenix come here no you're gonna go out the room i think otherwise you're going to be noisy because this thing now runs a lot better than before the motor was completely gunked up so we'll start off with this bit we'll have a look at how it came out and then we'll go from there let's have a look Yes, hello, my vacuum curlina chums. How are you today? This is a very battered, very used machine. I will say that now. We have had to do a few bodges here and there, which we'll get to when we get there. I guess we should start off with the hose. And yes, as many of you commented, I went and had a look and found some original pictures of these they're not the original toolkit I, I don't know if the hose end is original because it's certainly meant for this machine or if they ever sold pattern ones and that is what we have but this is that same hose that came with it and it's a heck of a lot cleaner now and it's quite nice it's what we're going to keep with it because well it's either this or put a black hose on and nothing wrong with that hose at all. So there is all the tools, so to speak. Let's move on to the machine itself, which isn't terribly bad. It's not terribly good either. I did slightly think about repainting it, but didn't go down that route yet. It's just cleaned, sift, and is what you see now. It's certainly seen a lot of use indeed. Let's take off the replacement cable again. I thought about replacing the cable, but A for what and B, I don't really need a long cable in my house. This one is going to do the job absolutely fine. The Dura plug came up very nicely indeed. Not, not mint by any stretch of the imagination, but certainly a lot cleaner than it was. If we lift up this part here, which is still pretty ruined you'd have to get this bit re-chromed or painted and again that's not something i really fancy doing we can see that i have washed the post motor diffuser this is where the exhaust there comes through it was black it's now a lot less black sits over this bit here and look inside of there you can see the top of the motor and it goes in there like that and pops down like so if we remove the motor housing and pop that there, in fact, we'll pop that there and I'll show you in here because this won't take long. It's been cleaned out. It's pretty rusty though. Although what the main issue was, here look, and you can see where it's had a heck of a lot of wear. There's a big old hole there. This whole join have been split apart. So it's been hammered back together, filled with clear silicone. And I put clear silicone around all of these bolts as well it seems a lot better now certainly holds its suction more than it did the only real pain in the bum is that the wheels aren't that good this front one does spin really well now in fact it's probably the better of the wheels i've cleaned the pivot point that sits in there and it has the better of all of the wheels on it these ones here, well, I think we're going to have to replace the original plastic pegs with something else because, especially this one, it's just a bit wobbly and rattly. It moves. It's not the most smooth machine in the world in terms of moving, but considering it's basically half a milk churn, it's not too bad. This is the pre motor filter. That looks very nice indeed after a good hand wash and dry. And you can't really see much else because it's all under here. But the motor was completely seized up with grease, barely spanned before. And after I repaired the carbon brush holder that broke apart 
when I took it apart, it now runs once more. So, we are going to fit a bag into here, and I have one of these from the Victor V9, which I'm hoping will fit, because this is quite a large rubbery bag holder. I don't think a pneumatic heifer flow is going to be large enough. There we go. Probably the first time anybody's fitted a heifer flow to one of these. Hey, if you've got one and you've heifer flowed it, please prove me wrong. You do not mind that at all. And this is the other pain in the bum because you do these flips up, but if you don't do it right, or oh, it's done now, if it doesn't hook on exactly right, it doesn't hold itself on. Can be quite annoying. But now that we have ourselves a bag, runs so much better it still doesn't clog itself off but then I can't find any air leaks all seems okay I think it might just be the design of the thing that it, it just doesn't it must bypass the air somewhere the motor also runs upside down because if we look in here look you can see the top of the fan case So, I don't know, comment down below if you have one of these. Does your one, you know what I mean, but it clogs itself off fully when you block up the hose end. But it's still got a decent amount of airflow. But of course, cleaning my entire house like this is going to get pretty old pretty fast. So, it's completely incomplete anyway. I guess it's time to show you what I bought to make it even more non-original and a bit of a machine. Now the first thing I tried to do was to replace this with anything really, you know. I'd have been happy with 32mm at all. I sort of wanted 35 but either way this was just terrible. Because now I'm going to bin. So I went on eBay and at the time I bought this found the cheapest bent end that wasn't a Miele one that I could find. And here it is. So we can screw it onto our hose. If I can... Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. And now we have ourselves... Benton. However, with this bent end, which was the cheapest one on eBay, this was cheaper than even the brand new cheapest one that I could find, came with a toolkit. We have ourselves, and this is from some commercial vacuum, you know, water vacuum, we have ourselves two ones and this. I've actually got a floor head. This is like... This was very cheap, under £12 delivered, I think. I'll put the picture up on screen. But yeah, we have ourselves a very little, very cool floor tool. A little, little lever there to push the brushes up and down. Came with a black hose, but I, I haven't used that. Because yeah, I thought the white one looked slightly better. And <laughs> it looked bad. It's probably not going to work very well. But equally, we now have some tools for our Siemens Super. Oh, it's a horrible floor tool. <laughs> oh dear. If you put the brushes down, it works a lot better.
this probably handily demonstrates why the back of that is also smashed up as well. As soon as you pull backwards on it, the whole thing tips back in an alarming fashion. But that's it, little hard. But it runs! We have all the wrong tools, but on a machine like this, I don't think that's the worst of its worries. But, you know, it runs. I'm going to try and use it for a bit just to get used to it. Seems to work a lot better with the brushes down. This floor head just skims along the surface. Even with a more powerful vacuum, I've had this hooked up to a mealer just to test it. And yeah, it's not brilliant. But, equally, I only really bought it for this bent end. I think a machine like this, with the suction it has, is probably going to need an eco floor tool. You know, one that's going to clamp itself down and make the most of its 500 watts of fairly mediocre airflow. So, we'll ignore the floor head for now. But equally, it's here. I can now show you it running properly. Running, I think, as good as it can. I can say, comment down below. I've, I've, I've never had one of these before. Is it that great or is it pretty terrible? Is there any way I can improve it? I did fit a Dyson DC25 motor to it, but it ran the wrong way. It blew out of the hose because this obviously works in a different way to most other motors. It, it, it works back to front, hence why all the exhaust there comes out of the fans and sucks through from the back. So I'm glad we got the original motor working. I think there might still be a few issues with the housing, but who knows. But hey, it's done enough to show you it now. Who knows, we may do a part three where we improve it even more, but I don't know. It was just a 20 pound stab in the dark and I think we've done all right out of it. We've had a bit of a laugh out of it, it's certainly a nice little curious machine that I can show you all. So, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I, and possibly this, will see you soon. Bye-bye.